Aaron's Devin here from American Aquarium, and we thought we would do a little informational video for you about flow. We have some questions regarding um, how much actual flow is in the tank and how much is necessary. Uh, we thought we'd show you a quick way of measuring yes. your flow for gallons per hour, which we'll go ahead and use a Rio pump. This is a Rio 1000, and on the box it rates about 270 gallons per hour. And you'll see when we add in some head pressure here that um, we won't actually be getting 270 gallons per hour. This is really something that pertains to like a canister filter or if you're running flow through a sterilizer and you want to know how much you are getting and this is the end result. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in our pump. I'm going to count on our gallon jug which is important because then we can take gallons and turn it to gallons per hour. And then we'll also do an example of calculating uh, head pressure as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put my pump in the water. My tubing is in my bottle, my gallon bottle. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000. So we got about 12, 13 to 14 seconds depending on how you count. Um, and then that can be calculated into gallons per hour. So let's use the same example now and use some head, pre head pressure and um, see how long it takes to fill up our gallon as well. And I'll give you some idea of actual how, it'll give you some idea of how your head pressure plays into your flow. So let's check this out. Okay guys, so now we have a new setup where we're showing a little bit of head pressure. This will be with a pump that's below the aquarium, maybe in the sump, pumping water up into the aquarium. Also, this is something like if you're using a canister filter. Just to know, guys, if you're using a canister filter with all the media and then just on average having to pump water back into the aquarium, you're getting about 60% less flow. So keep that, in mind. keep that in mind. Also, take a look at this example now where we plug in this same pump, same Rio 1000, pumping about three feet of head pressure into a gallon jug, and we'll figure out our gallons per hour there. So plugging it in. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000. As you guys can see, it's taking a considerable amount more time to fill up this jug. I would say actually it's taking about double the amount of time, which is about three feet of head pressure. And we have clean water, no filter media, nothing that's going to slow the flow. So as you guys just saw it in fully, counted out for you but about 10 seconds we were already half we were about half and we were almost full at 10 seconds when we had when we had no head pressure so keep that in mind with your flow you can also can add in uh, hang on the back filters a power head pump these things all calculated together make the flow throughout the whole tank so I hope you guys enjoy this video please like subscribe share with your friends help us get professional grade information out to the hobby we really appreciate it thanks so much bye